Hello, welcome to National Trust property today. It's Castle Drogo. Don't know if you can see that. Castle Drogo. We're in Devon. Yes, Devon. Devon knows. Uh, lovely place, it's uh, down a really bad country lane, uh, single track road, uh, but we are actually just outside the visitor centre, so we're going to go in and see uh, the castle itself and hopefully go inside. It's actually listed in the book as being fully accessible with ramps and things, so hopefully we'll have a good day. Right, here we go. Mm. Hello. You alright man? Yeah. Yeah, you want to do my car? Give me the zap me in. Okay, that's great. Are we going to go down to the castle and go into the room? Hopefully, yes. Yeah. That'd yep. be really good. I'll give you a token. So when you go in, right. they will let you in. Just get that person to say hello to you. Right, okay. And I'll give you a map as well. Yes. Is it a long way down to the castle? It's about 400 metres. 400 metres. So if I show you on here where we are. Mm. So that's where we are at the moment. The yeah. path there is yeah. just behind that wall. It's through okay. the glass doors. Down the bottom turn yeah, right. Down the drive, that's it. Into the castle there. Okay. When you come out, you can come out through the gardens, through the back there. And there are steps marked, so just avoid where those yeah. are. But otherwise you can certainly get all the way around. No Lovely. Lovely job, yeah. Thank you. The doors. There we go. So, Castle Drogo. Presume that's how you say it. This is going to be a, quite a challenge coming up this hill. This is quite a steep hill. You got a buggy there. Oh, is it wheelchair buggy? No, it's not. Oh, that's a pity. Could you got could you got a lift? Never mind. So here we are. First uh I think this is probably the first property that we've done in Devon. Uh, we've done sort of Somerset and Dorset and Wiltshire and Oxfordshire. Uh, and we've done some, oh, no, that's Somerset, isn't it? Yes, Minehead. So is Somerset. But Devon, hmm. But the actual building itself is all covered over because they're doing some restoration work. So, more than likely, it's going to be like when we went to the, the Vine, uh, Tudor Manor. Overcast day to day. Nice, and so we go down that way. So we go through the garden on the way back. The actual building yeah, 
have a children off school today, uh, this week. It's the end of May. Bank holiday Monday yesterday. Now I wonder if, if oh yeah, no, she did say ground floor, so probably not going up. There's not like a lift or something. Activities for children. Viewing Tower. So that is going to be physically fit. You will need a head for heights, 15 meters. So you've got to go up steps, so it's no good for me. So the roof as roof at Castle Drogo has always let water in. The Lutons designed the roof using asphalt. And they, uh, it, at the time it wasn't fully understood. Because it expands and contracts in hot cold weather and it obviously cracks. Yeah, in fact, we had that on my school roof when I was at boarding school. Same thing. So the uh, permit parapets were dismantled in 1980s to uh, put damp courts in. And uh, yeah, so they're doing the roof. And I just felt rain. Lots of rain. So I think we'll go inside really quickly. And get inside. Can't go that way. Can't go. Down. Up the fireplace. Right? Yeah. Sorry, there's so many stairs in this place. Well, in the castle. Well, yes, <laughs> true. <laughs> Can you, are you, 
No. 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 It's fine, I get used to that. This is the last machine. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. It's not, very, it's not much bigger than the wheelchair. No, it's just, there's some of the I mm. quite old these chairs. Yeah. Here and up, I got to um, Rosemore and Garden Place up there. You see, loads of people around there. Yeah, they're around but they're a lot bigger than this one. Pardon? They'll be a lot bigger than this quite one. Quite a bit bigger, yes. Yeah. What's that one? Yeah. We've got one here. Yeah, you've got a big one, haven't you? Yeah. Is it Tramper? Yeah. I don't know. Didn't, didn't, I don't know the, the make of oh, it. I no. see that one advertised quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, they are marvelous, aren't they? Mm. yeah. Yeah, it's very good for mobility. Mm. Allows you to come all the way down from this. From yes, yeah. yes, yeah. I've got to get back up there. <laughs> yeah, the trouble is you can't go through the garden, so it's all steps. Oh, is it? I know I've got a route, I've got a map, oh, well, which I was given, so. Just, um, oh, you got that, yeah? Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, but, Gardens on different levels. Yeah. So you've got steps. Um, I know there is a go. there is a route I've been given. Yeah, so. given the, you could yeah. go around the outside. Of the garden, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just started yeah. raining now, so. Oh God, is it? Yeah. They did throw, I thought it might rain. Mm. Oh. God. So so you have a you have a, a, a rush of people coming in. <laughs> I know. Well, the car park morning. the car park is chocker. Yeah. They've been very busy. Really, really chocker. They must have been very busy, busy yesterday. They had over 800. Really? Wow. What's all those things over there? Then? Some this, yeah. white things, yeah. That's the snooker table. Oh, right. Billet table. Right. Balls, right. There is the tapestries are all right. Oh, all I see. These walls there are yeah. all hung with tapestries. Ah. That's why the, the stone is it's not smooth. So right. Because so they're all hidden up. That wall, that wall, and that wall. Yeah. They're all rolled up there. Yeah. They'll so go back when everything gets put back. Yeah, to yeah. And how long is it going to be? Unfortunately, it's until the end of next year now. Uh, because um, our main contractor, we did have here, went bust last August. Oh, great. So, so nothing has been, much has been done the whole winter. Oh, dear. We've got new contractors who come you know, to take yeah. over. And it was only about two or three weeks ago. So uh, it's going to be another year. Yeah. This year oh. and most of the next year. That's a pity. We're getting there. Yeah. We're right. getting there. It's, uh, it's been here a little while though, isn't it? Well, since 1930, yes. Well, not that long. No, no, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's quite a modern, new. A modern castle. It is a modern castle. The most modern. Yeah. Last castle built in this country. Really? Wow. Well, I don't think... I can't see anyone else building a castle. No, no. You? Not really. No. Not in this day and age. No. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Right, enjoy can, can I go left there, roll it through the doors? Come. You can go through the doors. Yeah. Let me show you. You can go a certain way. Yes. Very good, lovely long case top on Alright, okay, thank you. Right, yep, that's lovely, thank you. So you won't get up here. There's the clock. It's nice. So there's obviously you can't go up and also can't go down. Dining room. Up fast. Right, keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So we have to negotiate. Hello. No, I'm fine. I've I'd look round or whatever wherever I can go. Do I? Oh, I didn't give you. A, I didn't give you a ticket, did I? Sorry. Yeah. I've got. All right. Yes, you've got a book. You've got a book. 
I've got a I've got a ticket somewhere. Well, I should give it you because <laughs> I forgot. Yep. There you are. I'll take it. Well, I don't want to take it with That's me. Yeah. Fine. Just yeah, um. Hmm. Um, oh, what you mean, like um? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll just don't worry. I'll just have the um the book and have a little look. You know, right. this is the before renovation, so to speak. It gives yeah. you the history of the yeah. land and everything. Have you been before? No. Well, anything you want to know. <laughs> well, well, we started, it was started to build in 1911, obviously, yeah. but of course, with the world, First World War that came along in 1914, uh. it slowed, didn't stop, but um, a lot of the married masons were allowed to stay, but he sent right. me, um, he encouraged yeah. the single men to go away. Well, some didn't come back, but ah. it, so it well, they wouldn't, no. in the 20s when it finally got finished. So by the mm. time then, Mr. Drew, who was the man with yeah. the money, was a lot older. His family had grown, so it's why, supposed did, to be, why did he build a castle? Well, that's, crazy that's a idea. story in itself. He thought he was related to a Norman knight called De Drogo ah. of the Tain River. Do you know Drew Stainton? No. But it's a little village just to our down the road. It's the nearest right. little village, and right. that's called Drew Stainton. Oh. And Drew <coughs> and Drogo. Drogo is like the Norman name for yes. Drogo. Yeah. And so he was given these lands in hey, the. Was uh, um, Drew the Drew, then, wasn't he? Yes. And Mr. Oh. Drew thought, well, he, he had lots of relatives here, and he did a bit of genealogy, and not to say that it didn't. I don't we, mm. we don't, we've done more since, but mm. um, he, although he had connections here, but yeah. Drogo is the today's equivalent of Drew, so he thought, hmm. well, Dr- Drogo Castle, Drew Castle, it's the same ah. thing. And Drogo, Drew Stainton is Drogo on the Tain, and he was given those lands, this Norman knight in yeah. the Crusades for doing Crusades, his work. Yeah. That's how the name started. As they all were. Yeah. No well, Mr. Days. Drew himself, um, he started a shop called the Home and Colonial Stores, and that mm. was started in the late 1800s. He was a, a, an a tea, apprentice tea importer ah. originally, and then he thought he could import tea cheaper from India than China. Mm. So that's how he made his money, and then he, he turned it into like a supermarket. It was like the first ones with Sainsbury's and Lipton's that really? sold everything under one roof. And he started oh. with one shop and ended up with a hundred. Wow. Then he retired. He sold out. But they carried on trading as the home and colonial stores till the 60s. We've got a uh, very nice book to look into. And it's got all the, um, the history. Julius Drew. Drew, as in D R E W E. He built this castle. And that's all to do with the castle. So 1911 ish. Somewhere on there. the yeah. men went away yeah. and then they come back. So it wasn't until 1926 roughly that Mr. Drew and his family moved in. Yes. Um, it was built with a flat roof. Yes. Ashfeld, wasn't it? Ashfeld. Yeah. But our fa- the architect was Lutchins, Edwin Lutchins. Right. Have you heard of him? No, I've not heard well, of him. Well, he... The, the thing he's famous for, other than lots and lots of places, he was a sir in the end, he was quite famous, yeah. is the fact he used did the Cenotaph and the War Graves Commission, oh, okay. which is quite okay. ironic to see he was actually overseeing this when it was the first one. Yeah. But he's also famous for some Indian work. He did the right. New Delhi house out there. And he was sailing there and sailing back to do Drogo. So there was a little bit of bank mm. between him and Mr. Mm. Drew. Mr. Drew was quite hands-on with what he wanted to do. Mm. So it just took its time. Yeah. It was just quite a long process to get the house up. Take pictures, sit on chairs, ask questions. <laughs> right. And Thank then, you, that's yes. really good. Yes. Yes. Well, the one, the, the nice, in 1969 70, mm. when the grandson was living here, they'd had enough of, because immediately that roof started leaking. Leaking. 
So they were always repointing, and he'd had right. enough. So he offered it to the National Trust. They didn't want it to begin with, because they got well, cars no, it's... and big houses, and they didn't have that much money in those days, I don't think. But because it was always the same family in here, it was the last castle built, yeah. none had been built since. It's the yes. youngest castle, yeah. and it's the last big house. Yes. So that way, it, they took it on. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are today. Luckily. <laughs> right? Thank you. Um, about how long and how many generations? What happened because of the building was yeah. Well, you know, apart from levitating, there's not a lot I can no. do, really, is there? What is this this thing oh, here? It's, 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 it's the first strip. It's just to make mock up. Oh. Well, it's to show the leaks. Oh, the leaks. leaks oh, the right. The first strip. Oh. Because I easily probably you know, yeah. it started leaking before it was finished. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, to. Uh. Well, I've had a very nice chat anyway, so it's been very good. I'm going to make a move down to the garden now, hopefully, okay. and see what I can Bring find. Map, yeah, I've got my good. map. I'll take it steadily. Yes, yeah, right. so it will be all right. If you bounce out there, it should be I know, we'll be fine. Yeah. Thank you very Thank you much, nice. anyway. Thank you very much. Interesting. Now, how do we get across this? And I believe that there's a path go down through the garden. Down this way. That would be nice when it's finished. Oh, I've learnt a lot today. I've learnt a lot about the history of the, the youngest castle in the country. Pretty good. Now, I think we need to go... Now, we can't go that way because there's steps. the steps over there. And of course this gravel the usual I hope I haven't been sitting on a wild goose chase. so far, you know, we've just got to find your way around, uh, um, obviously we go up here, turn, turn um, left. I think that is quite difficult to um, manoeuvre. So we head back up the main road. There is a cut through, but I'm going to go on the main road.
Thank you. Oh. So I just decided to go to the loo, so it's, it's fairly large. Standard, and that's quite nice. So I'll catch you in a minute. Oh, that was so rude. So we now need to reverse out of this. If the door stays open. Well, that ends my trip to Castle Dogo. Uh, I don't know whether I would pay £11 odd if I wasn't already a member because for what I actually saw, saw very little uh, and I couldn't really access the garden uh, too, too well. Uh, so overall, it's a pretty nice place if you're mobile. And um, now I can say I've seen the last, the last castle ever made here in Devon. Right, well, if you have enjoyed it, then give us a thumbs up, like and share. And don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll catch you again very soon for another National Trust property. Bye for now.